weekend, two runners who took on the challenge of the Run the UP series will be crowned king and queen of the UP. TV6's Michael Sobeck joins us live from Queen City Running in Marquette with an inside look at the conclusion to this year's running challenge. Good morning again, Michael. Good morning again, ladies. Good morning, Elizabeth. You know, in the last segment we talked about Trick or Trot, which is this the last event of the Run UP series. And, of course, that's also where the, the king and queen of the UP will be crowned and a lot of other cool things that are all tied with that. And so we're going to take a quick deep dive. Uh, I've got Kevin joining me yet again. Uh, First of all, what is Run the UP? This is the first time I've heard about it. So Run the UP, we started this about three years ago, and it's a combination of 11 different races from the start of race season. We start with the Dead Carp 5K, 20K, which is another race that Queen City hosts in May. And every couple of weeks, there's another race, and you can sign up. And it's, it was our idea. It's only 5 bucks to enter for the whole thing. And it was our idea just to, you know, with a point system scoring to basically promote a lot of the local races around the UP. I know sometimes we get drowned out by, like, these bigger events and stuff like that. So we wanted people traveling, seeing how beautiful the UP is, and being able to race, too. So it's been a lot of fun. Um, point systems, there's bonus points. It's it's a complicated point system, <laughs> so you kind of have to go on the website to check it out. But it is neat, and you have to run five of the 11 races that we've got to qualify uh, to be in contention to win. Absolutely. Now, for the now, is there a bracket for the top three best racers for men and women's? Overall, we're just yeah. There's top, there's three uh, yeah for men's and women's. I'm sorry. So first, second, and third place. We got some sweet trophies this year. We're gonna hand them out at the trick or trot um, at the after party this year. We'll have medals uh, for all the uh, run the UP contestants. Um, so yeah, it should be a lot of fun. It's kind of fun watching that point system work because maybe you're not the best runner, the fastest runner. But you're getting more points if you're participating in more races. So it all adds up over the course of the year. Again, it's about an eight-month thing, and it's really it's just fun to watch who, who's been going to all the races. Have you ever had someone complete all 11 races? I think last year we did, which, I mean, that's a feat in itself. That just is impressive. Like the travel, I mean, you're, it's a lot of commitment. But, uh, again, it was, but that's what we want. We want to promote all these local little races that we have all around the UP because there's so many great um, just beautiful places to be running at. Absolutely. Now, just a quick recap for people who are watching. When should they show up for not only uh, Trick or Trot, but also for that after party for Run the UP? Yeah, so 5K, 10K will start at the uh, Ordock at 10 o'clock. You can register. Morning of will be open at 8 o'clock. The Kids Monster Mile will be at 11 o'clock. Everything will start in front of the Ordock. And after the, par the after party will be at 11.30 at the Ordock for awards. Um, costume contest, all that kind of good stuff. All the fun after party yes. things. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining of this course. morning. I'll have to. I definitely. I, I didn't sign up this year for trick or uh, next trick year. Or we got you. Next year. Yeah, next yeah. year, I'm definitely gonna have to do it. Okay. Thank you so much of course. for having me this morning. Yeah. I'll make sure to have a link all that like information that. on our website at upmichigansource.com. It's back to you, ladies. All right. Thank you so much, Michael. Your top stories are on the way. We'll be right back.